Hello, this is Arman Surenich, and today I'm going to tell you about four main temperaments. But first of all, let's find out the definition of the word temperament. In psychology, temperament broadly refers to consistent individual differences in behavior that are biologically based and are relatively independent of learning a system of values and attitudes. Some researchers describe temperament with dynamical features of behavior such as energetic aspects, plasticity, flexibility, sensitivity to specific events, and emotionality. Temperament traits are distinct patterns in behavior throughout a lifetime, but they are most noticeable and most studied in children. Babies are typically described by temperament, but researchers in the 1920s uh, began to establish temperament as something which is stable across the lifespan. Although a broad definition of temperament is agreed upon, many classification schemes for temperament uh, have been developed, and there is no consensus. In the picture, you see four temperaments depicted in the 19th century. So, in the, we start with the up uh, left, uh, phlegmatic, then choleric, sanguine, and melancholic. Determining the temperament. Temperament is determined through specific behavioral profiles, usually focusing on those that are both easily measurable and testable, early in childhood. Commonly tested factors include traits related to energetic capacities, named as activity, endurance, extraversion, traits related to emotional emotionality, such as irritability, frequency of smiling, and approach of avoidance of unfamiliar events. And what is the history of the temperament theory? Historically, in the 2nd century AD, the physician Galen described four temperaments, melancholic, phlegmatic, sanguine, and choleric, based upon the ideas of Hippocrates. These became known as the four classical temperaments. In more recent history, Rudolf Steiner had emphasized the importance of the four classical temperaments. In elementary education, uh, the time when he believed the influence of temperament of the personality to be at its strongest. The historical concept was explored by philosophers, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists from very early times of psychological science, with theories proposed by Immanuel Kant, Hermann Lotze, Ivan Pavlov, Carl Jung, and many others. Four Fundamental Personality Types most individuals tend to have several aspects of the four temperaments. However, there are usually one or two main temperaments that are displayed primarily in the person. An individual could be any combination of the following four types. Now take a look at the picture to see the traits that are uh, usual for each of these temperaments. So we're going to speak about each of personality types in details. The first one, sangu sanguine personality types. type. Sanguine personality type is described primarily as being highly talkative, enthusiastic, active, and social. Sanguines tend to be more extroverted and enjoy being part of a crowd. They find that being social, outgoing, and charismatic is easy to accomplish. Individuals with this personality have a hard time doing nothing and engage in more risk-seeking behavior. Choleric personality type. Choleric individuals tend to be more extroverted. They are, they are described as independent, decisive, goal-oriented, and ambitious. These combined with their dominant result-oriented outlook make them natural leaders. In Greek, medieval, and Renaissance thought, they were also violent, vengeful, and short-tempered. The next is melancholic personality type. Melancholic individuals tend to be more analytical and detail-oriented, and they are deep thinkers and feelers. They are introverted and try to avoid being singled out in a crowd. A melancholic personality leads to self-reliant individuals who are thoughtful, reserved, and often anxious. 
they often strive for perfection within themselves and their surroundings, which leads to tidy and detail-oriented behavior. And the last one, phlegmatic personality type. Phlegmatic individuals tend to be more relaxed, peaceful, quiet, and easygoing. They are sympathetic and care about others, yet they try to hide their emotions. Phlegmatic individuals are also good at generalizing ideas or problems to the world and making compromises. I prepared a small task for you. I will show you videos where a person describes these personality types. You need to guess what type of personality he is speaking about. Personality types who are very deep in their thought patterns, they are very intricate, thoughtful people. They are very neat, tidy and specific. If you go to the, they can also come across as uh, good listeners, like when you, when you speak with them, they're likely to shed a tear if it's something deep because they, they feel your pain. They're very emotional, so they feel your pain and they, they feel what you're talking about. They'll listen to you and they give the best advice. They can be very emotional to a fault. Because you think a lot, you can sometimes sink into depression, moodiness and gloominess. And it's like, they can do very well in, in jobs where they are um, creative because they're very creative people by nature. So they do good with like story writing, authors, spoken word. Any thoughts? That's right, it is melancholic. Now let's move to the next personal type. There are people who are very peaceful, very slow at times, very witty. They're peacemakers, they just like to live life, you know, cool and relaxed and everything is smooth and no trouble you know they, they can come across as lazy and um, their strengths and weaknesses their strengths are that they can be good friends because um, they're very reliable very faithful they just they can stick at something forever because they're not bothered to move really so if you're a friend faithful they're committed commitment is a word i would say some are they're happy to live life like that they're very quiet when they're in the group there will be one person i'm sure you've got that one friend they're just quiet they just they're not that talkative you know, living life in slow motion. What about this one? Good, this is phlegmatic. Now let's watch next video. It's basically people that are very happy, bubbly, joyful. They are the life of the party. When they step into a room, like they, they capture the room because of their charm. They are very colorful nice to be around they're good storytellers they're very good conversation uh conversationalists all right okay all right they're very good at speaking this helps them to have a lot of friends they're very popular because they keep you happy and most people like to be happy you are very good with being on the in the spotlight you love the spotlight <laughs> you love making people laugh you love making people happy you are very optimistic you always see the good thing is about being happy everything is about bringing joy to people's lives bringing color to people's lives they can make people laugh for days they can tell good stories they have that charm they're just naturals with it they make good hosts of events comedians or any kind of role that requires a lot of charm like interviewing or something like that something in the spotlight any kind of showmanship role like celebrities who sing Pop stars, do they call them? I don't know. Singers. <laughs> they make good singers, they make it if their voice is good. They can own a stage. Yeah, because that's their nature. Their nature is to shine. However, <laughs> their weaknesses, they can be very overwhelming sometimes. Now, what personal type is this? Correct, this is Sanguine. Now let's watch next video. Personality type that is very strong-willed to something, a task, and that task will get done. It is very um, diligent, specific, to the point, hard-headed, but they get things done. They are the trailblazers, they're the groundbreakers, they, they tend to be managers in any kind of leadership role, the captain of the team. They're just very leader-oriented. They like to drive things forward. They don't just like to be stagnant, they like progress. They're the ones that will just get you to do what has to be done. They're the ones that will set people the task that they're doing, okay, you're doing the introduction, you're doing the summary, you're doing the references, etc. You can sometimes feel that they don't care about what people think because in their mind, the task is more important than how people feel. They don't care. Their, their thing is, what are you doing? 
this has to be they, they can be very stern like a school teacher disciplinarian kind of people uh, weaknesses are that they can do so at the expense of how people feel sometimes they can run over people in the name of getting a task done so they can just um, speak sharply to you overwork you just because in their eyes they don't see how you feel they just see the task everything is the task and we've got a deadline and things have to be done and what are you doing we, we were supposed to meet here why are you not here get it done and get it done quickly <laughs> that, those kind of people and the last one is choleric that's right your homework since you have watched uh, the video i would like you to write a small essay about yourself or about your friend the topic of the essay is what personal types do you think you or your friend have and why the essay is about 120 180 words and send it to your teacher until 20th of may so that's all for now uh, thank you for watching and goodbye